two and a half. We didn't actually read some of them out. Oh, so go down. Hope. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There is a lot you can do in 32 hours. You could watch all the Harry Potter films and Lord of the Ring films together and still have time to take a 40 minute break. Some countries have adopted a 32 hour working week. So you could do a whole week's worth of work. There was even once a commercial flight between the UK and Perth that took 17 hours. So you could either fly to Australia and most of the way back, or you could fly to Australia, party for seven hours, and then have an eight hour sleep. Or you could do what I did, which is sit at a desk and stare at a webcam for 32 hours. Let me explain. Last week it was my birthday. It was my 32nd birthday. And for my 32nd birthday, I decided I wanted to do a 32 hour stream to try and raise 3,200 pound for mental health charity, Mind. I think now more than ever is a time that we should be talking about and looking after our mental health. So I couldn't think of a better charity to support than Mind. Living in the middle of a global pandemic for close to a year where we're told to isolate and distance ourselves from others in order to protect them has led to people feeling increasingly anxious, isolated, lonely and hopeless as we struggle to see an end to all this. So it's more important now than ever that we talk about mental health and I wanted to raise money for a charity that I know does good work in this area. The 32 hour our stream was meant to be an opportunity to get people involved in a discussion about mental health and raise money for a great charity, but it ended up being so much more. This is how it went. Right, so it's the 11th of February, um, it's my 32nd birthday, it's the morning of my 32 hour stream and the reality is, is I didn't sleep brilliantly last night. I woke up at about 4 in the morning, needed the loo, started thinking about the stream, couldn't get back to sleep until about half five and then eventually woke up and got out of bed at 20 past seven. Now that is not a great start for someone who's going to be starting a stream at 1 p.m. and then streaming until 9 p.m. the next day. But I'm excited. I'm incredibly excited. I, I, I'm sort of nervous and excited. I've got my clothes laid out on the bed there. This is what I'm going to wear on the stream. This is what I'm gonna to wear tomorrow, so I'm planning on having a shower <laughs> midway through the stream because I think <laughs> I think that's a sensible idea. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to not turn the computer on until maybe 10, 15 minutes before the stream. I'm, I'm pretty sure that actually that'd be a bad idea. I'm trying to have as minimal screen time as possible. But you know, it's my birthday, so I'm replying to messages putting out tweets promoting the stream, um, need to FaceTime my family. I suppose we should go over the setup for the day. Um, so basically, we've got the dual monitors, but they're actually running from the laptop at the back, which can just about deal with it. Uh, I'm using the Blue Yeti microphone, um, which is just like the YouTuber standard. It's what every single YouTuber has, just standard. Um, got this, uh, got a GoPro Hero 9 webcam. Now, unfortunately, turns out it's a great action camera, not a particularly brilliant webcam. Basically, it's like a few frames out of sync, so then I've had to set up a delay on my microphone and try and like eyeball it so that it's in sync. Um, I've got a light which I bought in Australia. I don't know what the make is. Here's the exciting thing though. The second screen is plugged in to this capture card. Now, the reason that's exciting is because I've got my Switch plugged in, which is why the control is on the desk, so I can play Switch games on the stream, but I've also got my PS2 plugged in, and I'm even more excited at the prospect of playing with my PS2. And uh, here are all the potential PS2 games that I'll, I'll play with later as well. So I've also put along here like things that I haven't got plans to use during the stream, but I might use. Um, party hats, party poppers, silly stream, little party um, blowouts. I didn't know that's what they were called. A priest outfit. That seems a bit odd. Um, and of course, my iHeart BJ t-shirt, because it seems appropriate. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just a case of trying to think of everything I could possibly need and getting it in here. Ah, next thing, bathroom. So as you can see, the desk is here, which is incredibly fortunate because the bathroom is here. So we'll take a look inside. I will be able to brush my teeth in here and tomorrow morning I'm gonna have a quick shower. Now the way I'm gonna get around that is if I'm going to change during the stream um, and I need to keep people occupied, Charlie needs to be awake. So Charlie has agreed 
that during those moments of the stream, she's going to hop on board and, and entertain people for me, basically. So yeah, I think it's gonna be quite a lot of fun, um, or at least I'm hoping so. But uh, yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm definitely nervous. Oh, time to um, turn the laptop on. Here we go. Alrighty, let's get going. And just like that, the stream was underway. Now the stream is still available on my channel, however, it's been cut into two pieces because the stream crashed halfway through. So there's a 17 hour chunk and a 15 hour chunk, which was bridged in real time by an Instagram live story. But YouTube has only saved 12 hours of each of those streams. So there's only 24 hours of the 32 available online. And that feels like quite a lot to get through. So I'm gonna rattle through it here. First things first, it's important when you're doing any sort of endurance challenge to get your nutrition right, which is why I had ice gems, mini rolls, a wagon wheel, party ring, Pringles, strawberry flavored pencils, dolly mixture, mini jelly beans, Maltesers, <laughs> jelly babies, dairy milk with crunchy bits, because I need to be a little bit healthy, green grapes. Hang on chat, you're not gonna believe this. This is the note, this is the note. Almost everything you need for a classic birthday party. Sorry for the lack of jelly and ice cream. Nicola was clearly watching the last stream because, oh my God. Hang on, hang on. Can people see that? Before the stream started, I decided that in order to encourage donations, I would set fundraising targets that if they were hit, I would do a forfeit. And I bought some bird eye chilies to set the tone. I don't know why I bought these. When I picked these up, I thought to myself, you're torturing yourself here. <laughs> you're already doing a 32 hour stream, but I think it's important to try and, um, try and, try and raise as much money as we can for mind. Hang on, right, I've missed this. Craig message saying he would donate 500 pounds if you eat one now. I said you get me up to 500 pound, perfect. That's not a problem, you'll get me up to 500. <clears throat> that's incredible, right. I think that's the biggest one I can find. Right, I've not got any milk. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh God, oh Craig. <coughs> Mind the eyes. Oh yeah, I might have to go wash my hands. <laughs> Water is not the thing to help. I know, I can tell. Charlie's come here and offered me <laughs> some milk, but Craig, I think that's cheating. I think that's cheating. Charlie, thank you. Put that back in the jug. Holy crap. Craig, you absolute madland. We are on 569 pounds, 17% of our way to our target. Craig donating 250 pounds on top of the 100 pounds he's already donated. I don't know how we can, how we can repay Craig, hang on. Right, for the next little while. There we go. That's not gonna get annoying, is it? Craig, this might not last that long, but for the next little while, I heart Craig. Craig is king. The boy Craig, the biggest BJ going. 44 minutes into the stream, and not only had we already raised over 500 pounds, but the stream had started at 100 miles per hour and I'd already eaten a chili. Now seems as good a time as any to introduce Craig, and if you watch the stream, you're probably already familiar with him, but if you didn't, Craig was one of the biggest donors, donating 1,400 pounds over the course of the 32 hours, and cropping up whenever there was the opportunity to make me do a forfeit. If we hit 1,000 pounds by four o'clock, um, Charlie's saying we have cinnamon. But the problem with the cinnamon challenge, Charlie, is I don't want to cover my entire desk and camera. I guess we could do it. Okay, fine. There we go. If we hit a thousand pounds by four o'clock, then it's bloody 2008 again, cinnamon challenge. There we go. Oh, bloody hell. We're already at a thousand. On the nose. <laughs> Ah, oh, not Craig, or is it? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not Craig, or is it? 130. How old is this cinnamon? It's quite new, actually. It's quite fresh. It's quite pungent. A fresh, pungent one? Yeah, show them the teaspoon. Oh, 
Oh my god, that smells strong. Just don't spray it, yeah? There's a reason I didn't do this in 2008. You really don't want to do it, do you? I, on, I would stand back if I were you. Go on, off you go. Down the hatch. So dry. <laughs> it's so dry. It's so, it's so dry. Oh my god. It's like on my tooth. Right, there we go. Right, we've got even more. Robbie Knox, 50 pounds. Here's some money. Can you eat a big spoon of peanut butter, please? <laughs> Not peanut butter, normal butter. Did it say just butter? Did I just add the peanut? Oh no. Okay, fine. Um, I'll tell you what, 20 minutes. If we get to, if we get to 1200 in 20 minutes, I'll do it. All oh, right, yeah, 1200, done. Wow. Um, someone <laughs> donated, Jiark, have I got that right? Are you in the chat? Who is Jiark? Um, has donated, hang on, is this on there? They've donated 65 pounds and their note just says, butter, hang on. I wonder what Jirak spelt that. How did I not see that? <laughs> Craig. Craig, you madman. Oh my god, that's too much. What do we reckon? That's too much. <laughs> that looks so bad. Doesn't it? That's horrible. They don't like you. Um, all bow down to Lord Craig of YouTube. I mean, Craig... I don't know if Craig loves mind or hates me. Right, here we go. <laughs> People are saying stop putting it off. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. That's that that's worse than the cinnamon. It's just greasy. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just have a moment to. That was the worst one. Butter really was the worst one, but the challenges just kept coming like terrible shots. <sighs> Licking a Nintendo Switch cartridge. Eating two chilies at once. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, God. Biting into an onion. <coughs> and even Charlie bit into an onion. Charlie also helped set a fundraising target, which if hit, she would play trombone on stream, but unfortunately, that wasn't captured within the 24 hours of footage I have. Actually. Are you working? Yes. Do you want to play trombone for my viewers? No. Okay. My wonderful <laughs> fiance Charlie helped out a lot in the stream, hopping on whenever I needed to go to the loo or when I had a shower, making her a firm fan favorite, but she wasn't the only guest on the stream. There was the brilliant Max Fosh. I'm very much like an indie kid, but I, I I'd listen to anything, really. I know that's a, an annoying answer, that, but I, 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 I think I, the, the thing is, though, like that answer, I just do not buy that answer. I do not buy when people say, "Oh, I'll listen, I'll listen to anything." It's like when you're in the car and you've got the aux cable and you say, "Oh, what should I put on?" And so I was like, "Oh, I don't mind. I listen to anything." Well, you don't. If I suddenly put on some thrash metal, you're not exactly going to be particularly pleased, are you? So. Just bloody tell me what you want to listen to. I don't care if it's Grease or McFly Room on the Third Floor. Just bloody tell me, lad. But I, I reckon I could listen to Metal and, um, and McFly. <laughs> we also had Will France, who stunned the audience with his magic, not once. So we'll go through the pack, and you should hopefully notice this time there's, there was a slight marking on the back of your card. There we go. <laughs> um, so, you know, some people don't notice it first time, but hopefully, uh, hopefully that should be your card. Can you remember what your card was? Uh, the... Jack of Diamonds, was it? Jack <laughs> of Diamonds, there you go. Um, <laughs> but twice. I've gone nowhere near the watch dial this whole time, yeah? Mm -hmm. No, you haven't. <laughs> what? <laughs> and in the evening, we played Jackbox games with the wonderful Dan Trelfer, the brilliant Cookie, the hugely talented Alfie Indra, and the Lord of Binde, Robbie Knox. Unfortunately, Dan did struggle to connect to Jackbox. How do I, how do I join? Sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, gosh, you can this is someone's granddad trying to program the video. And what's and the code? It's the one on the, the screen. screen. You can't I, won't, read it I won't say it out loud, I'm afraid. <laughs> on 
on on the on the game screen. Yeah, on the right. game screen, it's, <laughs> under it says go to Jack. I'll, I'll, I'll deal with this, right, Dan? Go into go into <laughs> the, and then you put in that code that's written on the screen there that you can't read out now. Don't read it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what that's the code is what I can't see. It might be really blind. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm looking for numbers. I've got it. I've got it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which made him an easy target for jokes at his expense early on. The name of a nightclub for people in their 40s. <laughs> there we go, there's the tone. Neither of those are me. <laughs> the name of a really boring sex position is the reverse blank. Getting a bit saucy now. Oh, yeah, I knew someone's gonna be. We also had a young man called Fraser Oliver donate to Mind in order to join the game. Fraser, are you in the chat there? I can see, can see your, can see your, uh, you're there. Are you, yeah, are you... I, I'm just sorting my general existence out at the minute, but you know what? I think we're getting there. I've just subscribed, Fraser. I'm in. I'm there. <laughs> Robbie, that is like. That is literally a dream come true. You're, you're literally one of my heroes, Robbie. You need better dreams, pal. <laughs> <laughs> you really do, mate, honestly. And at that point, the attention turned to Alfie Indra for a bit. There's a thing coming on here. Come <laughs> on. Give it a rest, Fraser. Oh, what? Oh, wow. Wow. See you later, guys. See you later, guys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Unfortunately, the footage of this no longer exists, but I want to say a huge thank you to Malexis TV, Cody Rogers, Tuzel, and my mate Rob, who played Jackbox games with me in the early hours and kept me sane. I mean, there may have been a few moments where I lost it. Uh, guess who's back? Back again. John is back. Said he's a skater boy, so said to you later, boy. He wasn't good enough. Uh, now he's a superstar, slamming on his guitar. And we burn, burn, burn the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Because he's a tech genius, tech, tech genius, tech, tech genius, yeah. And cut. You know what? He'll I am a machine. <laughs> he'll probably post a picture on his Patreon machine. of him crashed after this. Yeah, there were lots of moments of singing and dancing and not really having it together. Mercy. And the other thing there was plenty of on the stream was gaming, where I played Rocket League. Come on! Tekken 5. Oh, there we go. Crazy Taxi. Woohoo! Even Charlie played Crazy Taxi. Oh, God. And of course, WWF Smackdown, Just Bring It, where we created Princess Butterboy and they were perfect. Every moment of the stream was so full of things like me trying to win money for mind on scratch cards that I couldn't possibly put them all in here because otherwise this video would be hours long by itself. <coughs> That's a nil. The thing that made the stream truly special and an experience I'll genuinely never forget was the audience. They were so giving with their time, their support, with sharing their experiences about mental health. I suffered very badly with depression when I lost my job six years ago. I sought help and that plus the allotment definitely saved me. What you're doing is awesome. The encouragement the audience gave not only me, but each other when they shared their experiences with mental health was honestly incredible. And I don't think I will ever get over it. People kept asking me if I was tired or why I didn't look sleepy towards the end of the stream. And it's because I wasn't tired. I never got tired. I never got bored. I never got sleepy. And it's because the audience were amazing and they just kept giving me energy. 
and it wasn't the only thing they gave. We have already had a four pound donation. Bloody hell, 44 pounds already. Already on 139 pounds. We are on 254. 641, hell yes, 835. This is ridiculous. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, oh, hang on. Another 200 quid. Boom! Oh 2,787. How did that happen? 3,500 on the nose. I'm going to give this a big old 4 because I can't believe we've hit 4K. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> did that peak? I don't care. I don't care. Boom! Five and a half thousand pounds! Come on! We ended up raising over seven thousand pounds for Mind during the stream and the amount has continued to go up after the stream. Now to put that into context, Logan Paul, who has 22.8 million subscribers last year, did the biggest live stream in the entire history of YouTube and he raised 94,000 pounds for a mental health charity, which is incredible. Now my channel is 0.05% the size of Logan Paul's and yet we managed to raise 7.5% of what he did on this stream. That's how incredible the audience were, that's how giving they were, and that's why I never got tired, because how can you get tired when you've got an audience as brilliant as that? Sadly, I don't have footage of the final hour of the stream saved, which is a shame because it felt incredible, but in many ways, I kind of don't mind because you sort of had to be there to experience it. The energy was incredibly high, the donations kept flooding in, and it got to the point where I reached the 32 hour mark and I didn't want the stream to end. So I just wanna end this video with a high heartfelt thank you. Thank you to everyone who got involved with the stream, from the amazing creators who got on board and helped me out and helped me raise money, to the people that kept me going in the chat and kept the energy high, and to everyone who donated. At the time of filming this, the page has been backed by 334 different people. And yes, there were some big donors like Craig, but actually over £4,000 of that money was raised by people who were donating £3, £5, £10, every penny counted. So thank you to everyone who donated. And not only that, the people that couldn't afford to donate but came over and supported me anyway and liked the video and shared it with everyone, helped spread the message and helped spread the positivity, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I cannot say it enough. It's cheeky to even say this after what everyone gave, but the donation link is still available in the description if you'd like to donate. It was a 30 second birthday I will never forget, and if you want to see more clips from that stream, like the full interview with Max Fosh, then head over to my second channel, john.mp4, where I'll be posting those. And if you like this video, then please give it a like. It's amazing how much difference it makes to the algorithm, letting it know that this is a video worth pushing, hopefully. And if you dislike it, fine, just give it a dislike. I do not mind that either. Uh, leave a comment down below. What was your favorite moment from the stream? And if you haven't subscribed yet, then what the hell are you doing? Hit the bloody subscribe button. And until next time, thank you. Now piss off. <laughs>